Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm joined with Eric and his family and we are going to be looking for the red agate. So it's been almost two years I want to say since my dad and I were last here. So at the north end here of the San Rafael Swell. If you remember we found some really nice red agates back there. Well we're going to head back there and get some more of those as well as look around a little bit more and see what else we can find. Oh and my brother made this shirt for me for Christmas and I'm finally getting to wear it. <laughs> So that's exciting. Anyway, as always, here's the GPS to this location. All right, let's head up and uh, go find that red agate and see what else is up there. Well, we're not to the hill yet. We're checking out this hill right here I haven't really seen. Here's a little bit of red agate right here. Not great yet. This is kind of more typical of the, the swelled material, but you never know. Nice little stream pebble. And here we have some of the rock. So. We're not up to the good spot yet, but we're getting some of the nodules coming out here that have the red agate in it. So this stuff is spread quite quite throughout this area. Just found this one, really sparkly with a little bit of druzy on it. Nice little bit of red on top of the colorless. So we're back on the hill here. If you maybe remember from last time, these are a bunch of pieces I pulled out that I ended up not taking with me originally. Now that I look at this though, is that calcite, if I dissolve the calcite, that could expose some nice botrytal. Might take that home to try and expose it. But really nice stuff. Look at this, this fractured since I was last here and look at the druzy inside this one. Let's see if I can get, get a good look at it. Beautiful, there's the other side right there. Very dirty. It is. It needs some good cleaning, but it is pretty. Uh -huh. Eric just popped this one open. It's got a looks like a mix of quartz and calcite crystals in it. Really nice though. Oh, look at this. Oh, Eric just found that. Look at that quartz right there. That's it's like a stalactite of quartz. It's beautiful. I found some. All right, let's get more pockets like that. Yeah. <laughs> so right here, I'm gonna try open this one. See how I've got that. Rind of kind of the red agate showing there and there. Let's see if we can break into this one and see if we got any cool pocket of quartz or agate in it. I mean, we got so many around here we could just break into and see what we got. Yeah. All right, well, that one I broke open was a dud inside, but Eric found some nice dog tooth here. So you got some nice calcites here. And is that calcite as well in different Form, or is that maybe bare right there? And also I found more pink rock. Hmm. I found another and another. Mm, I think it's still calcite, just yeah, in a different form. So I saw this peeking up out of the surface. I think I see more on this side. This one, if it has enough going through it, might be worth taking back and cutting. Let me spray it off though. I'm yep, I think that's one. that one is worth taking back and cutting. Could probably make several slabs out of, of it. Yeah, we'll take that back. So here's a cool pocket. It's got some nice brown dog tooth calcites in it on top of the quartz crystals. Pretty cool stuff. And you can see it's falling apart. Pretty this rock's got some nice quartz on it. I just peeled this off. We can see some nice quartz in there. Looks like we got a good pocket going into there. And Eric has some stuff coming over here. Let's take a look at some of this. There's a nice pocket right the there. Green uh, the green is probably uh, like algae like and stuff growing Excellent. on it. Yeah, that's just growing on it. But look at those nice, nice crystals. And there. Oh, there's a nice pocket right there. I'm sure, it's a, I don't think it is. Yeah, I think it's just stuff growing on it. Really? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna come back over to this one and I'll keep breaking into this. See what else I can find in here. Wet. So I broke the rock down. I've got a few nice pieces of druzy here. <laughs> this one's kind of one of the better ones right there. Oh, and also and then watch the... a little bit on this one too. So those were the two best pieces that came out of this one. Whenever you hit it. So I just pulled this rock up and look at the quartz crystals on this one. 
And also, the crystals come off, but it doesn't matter. Look the other there. one they're staying on. Those are some good looking quartz crystals in there. Sorry, the lighting isn't the best, but <laughs> there they are. Yeah, and the sun is being annoying today. I'll see if I can get some of this out of here. So it took a lot to try and break this thing, but I finally broke into it. And this side has a really nice pocket. There's some beautiful clear quartz crystals in it. So I'm gonna spray it off and we'll see how it looks. Okay, this rock right here, and also we um got like, we got a white crystal in there that's very big. Yeah, so there it is all sprayed off. It's all right, well, it's just right there. As much as I can for here. <laughs> it's really pretty though, isn't it? Yeah, it's the prettiest ever. And so yeah, the beautiful agate, the red agate and quartz crystals are just everywhere on this hill. So they're on the other side, digging into some cool stuff. But I've been wanting to explore further. I've been wanting to go south. I haven't gone south yet. Last time I was here, we went north. So I want to explore over in that direction and maybe up in those hills that way and just see what else might be out here. Well, here I am on the back side of this hill and we're already back into the red agate. And this had some nice botryoidal on it. That. Very nice. You got... Oh, that's a red agate all over again. Very cool. There's a whole rock of it. Beautiful stuff. Countering some different stuff up here. So kind of a big boulder of kind of a flint shirt. And then you got these layers that have the red in it. They're really, really fractured. Huh. Sometimes you can see how it's been broken into pieces. Very interesting stuff, though. There's an interesting piece over here. Cool. And now I've come further south. I know the macro lens is on. But here it is, it just keeps going, this beautiful red agate. There's just more of it and more of it. So there's probably quite an abundance of it. And it definitely, the majority of it is appearing in this purple layer. So there's a red unit below it and this purplish colored unit, that's where the stuff's coming out. So I'm back here on the main hill and this is the thickest vein of agate I've seen in any of these rocks so far. Look at that. Look at that really thick. I'll take a few of these pieces back. But yeah, really cool. And I'm back at the vehicle. The rock hound in me wants to keep rock hounding the rest of the day, but physically I, I have to pace myself and I kind of hit my limit for the day, but it's been great. I'm just happy to be out again and having a good time. Grateful I could uh, share this cool location with Eric and his family. And it's just fun to get out here again. And I'm a little winded after hiking back with, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 pounds of rocks. That's not a lot, but it's a lot for my body. <laughs> anyway, it's been good. Had a great time. And until next time, remember, there is treasure 